ready? All right, here we go with round one. You are paid to tell us what you think is going to happen as an analyst. We have a striker, we have a grappler. Doesn't always play out that way, but what are you expecting to see in this? Case? I'm expecting the grappler to try and go and make contact with his opponent. Right. If he can make contact, he can drag this fight to the mat. I expect... Oh, and the ankle pick to get him down. We'll see if he can capitalize. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. Gets right back up. I mean, what an ankle pick. If he would have drove into his opponent, maybe he would have secured the top position. Oh, collar tie. Big leg kick land. Relax, relax. Keep your hands. Big kick land. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the team. Trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Big ball punch lands. Now we get back to range. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Look at him yank the head and land that beautiful punch from the clinch. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Keeping busy here on the clinch. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. Oh, nice jab. Beautiful punch. Single collar tie now. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh. And he comes through with a big knee. Well, DC headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands and he's doing a nice job protecting the dog. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure enough to land. Good punch land. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. He's like in a zone. It's like the basketball hoop becoming twice the size. This guy today is looking at focus mitts in his opponent. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Punch coming. It's blocked. Magomedov gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Well, oh, he missed with that right hand. Right hand punch to Clinton. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Oh, that's a beautiful strike there by Khabib. Don't call him a one-trick pony. Don't call him a one-trick pony, John, because he isn't. He is a guy that is able to mix everything up inside the octagon. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Oh, bone on bone, shin slash foot right to the skull. You see why I'm a commentator and not a fighter? You see why? Yeah, those aren't fun. I'm telling you, man, you get kicked in the head a lot of times at the end of the night. Got a little experience. Yes, I do. Oh. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? All right, boy, Ty clinch. A lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yeah, it's a very dangerous position, but an advantageous one for the offensive fighter. Watch for the defensive guy to try to break this immediately. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Nice loop and punch. Nice elbow in the clinch there up top by Nermago Medov. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Oh, 
Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. Five minutes in the books. Let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent, and as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kicks, head kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Michael engaged in a single collar tie. Magomedov gets caught with that punch. shot was good enough to get his opponent down. I don't know how many times, John, I could have watched this guy shoot takedown attempt without securing one. It's almost like out of pity. You feel good for him to finally get it done. Now what does he do with this top control? Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold. And it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to hold him. Yep, yeah, absolutely. I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type. Oh, now trying to isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hips back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle. Attack an arm bar. You gotta recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you gotta move him off and you gotta cover. You can't be off to an angle. So he submits him with the arm bar. How about that? Great job. Great performance. Oh! Woo! Woo! Yeah, that is some high-level Brazilian jiu-jitsu right there. Just the way he transitioned to secure the arm up against his body and ultimately force the tap. High-level stuff out of that young man here tonight. Take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger and finishing fights. So there he is, your winner by submission. That could hold up as one of the better subs of the year. Near perfect execution tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eagle Bings called a stop to this contest at one minute, 46 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out, Habib the Eagle all right, so what a performance by this young man here tonight as he gets the win by way of submission. He certainly put a lot of stock into getting the finish tonight, and he did just that. Congratulations. It was a very tough fight, but he knew that if he did everything right, he can get to his position, which is the ground, and he would be able to find a finish by submission.